So once we build this trajectory, it's a living document. It's going to change over time because once desires, experiences change over years. So we want to think about this trajectory as we go across the life stages and all the different life transitions. Transition is not just that time period from 18 to 22 in our life. Transitions happen at each stage of our life and they will continue to happen as long as we live. And we need to make sure that our trajectories change and transition with us. And then I also really want to talk about life experiences and the trajectory. Life experiences are how we get ready for the next phase in our life. So like when you're very little, having chores helps you prepare for employment. Having an allowance helps you learn about money and making mistakes with money. Um, we need to help people get started at a very young age. We want to help families avoid falling off the cliff, which is known as that time period after they graduate high school and they lose so many supports. We want to talk about anticipatory guidance. We want to, if we don't want to start thinking about employment at age 14, when we can start at a younger age, when with chores and summer jobs and volunteering, we want to offer those experiences. And then finally, I really love this slide because I think that this gets often overlooked that when you're thinking about your trajectory, you really want to think about life experiences and life outcomes. So you kind of look at this circle that greater life experiences essentially offer greater life outcomes. Um, if someone were only to be taken to McDonald's, Walmart, and bowling, and you were to ask them, what would be the things that you like most? What's part of your good life? You know what they would tell you? Walmart, bowling, and McDonald's, because that's the only experience that they've had. So when we think about our trajectories and how to move forward with them, let's also consider life experiences.